Okay, folks, this is about getting lean and ripped. I'm going to call this the cash diet. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about on dieting and fitness and all this stuff. Um, I'm lean and ripped, been a bodybuilder, all this stuff. I have a friend of mine that's, well, a couple of them. One guy's, uh, well, actually trained in the same gym Ronnie Coleman did, and my buddy trains with uh head train with jay cutler and things like that and he's a uh well does modeling for like calvin klein and all this kind of stuff so basically on the diet this is basically three ways to get i'm gonna give you to the point this is what we're gonna call it the cash diet because it's straight to the point it works and i see all these people and a lot of people ask me because that know me they want to know how i'm fit and all this stuff like that so we're going to get to the point you have like the atkins diet biohacking macro micronutrients uh fasting eating every two three hours all this stuff okay well everything does work to some degree so i'm going to cut to the chase and tell you how to make it work for you and lose the most weight the fastest and get you in the best shape of your life and get you ripped like hollywood star and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point this out to you and tell you how to do it. And if you do it, I guarantee I will bet you cash. I'll bet you money. I already know. It works and you'll be ripped and lean. So that's why we're going to call it the cash diet because I'm going to back it up with money. Lots of money. But I'm not here to sell you anything or take any money. I'm just going to give you to the point because everybody's selling a bunch of crap that doesn't really completely work. Now what works let's get to the good stuff you got to have energy you got to have the diet and you got to have the exercise so those are the three things that's not rocket science but if you want the absolute best of all three of those things to make this work and lose the most weight the fastest i'm going to tell you how to do it by going over the energy the diet and the exercise first of all energy is the most critical port point of the diet because Nothing matters if you don't have energy to do anything or to do what you need to do to, di to diet properly and to work out properly. So we're going over the energy portion first, the very first thing. So the first thing you want to do is, well, you probably heard of this drug. It's called Phenermine. You can get it. It used to be, um, it's, it's the oldest, probably the oldest uh, weight loss drug around. And a lot of women will say, oh, well, I tried it and it doesn't work. Well, I'm going to tell you how things work and how they don't work and why it works and how you make it work and continue to work when you're not using it and not to lose all your weight and then gain it all back. That is the key. So the key here is energy. First, so we have phenamine. Your doctor has it. He call, you call him up, you get a prescription of it. It'll give you the appetite suppressant and energy so energy is really two things appetite suppressing and energy so all your fat burners are gonna most of them are gonna burn the fat and give you energy some of them will give you energy and appetite suppression that is the whole trick to losing all the weight then you throw the diet behind it and exercise and bam i can make the fattest person get ripped and even when i was in college uh, I had a girlfriend, she's a little overweight, but not much. She was hot as hell. And I got her ripped, and she got, well, I hate to tell you, but yeah, she did get me, she was a. I had a bunch of girls got into Oxygen magazine, magazine and things like that from training them. But I don't even do that training anymore. I just, just telling people that uh, have a lot of problem with obesity. You can't get rich and you can't succeed if you're overweight because it costs you so much money to eat. You're paying like the average person's, they've calculated over, you know, a hundred some thousand in money just on food and you're eating all the time because of all the ingredients in the food, I'm going to give you a non-processed diet that's going to work and simple and easy. All the non all the processed foods have all the synthetic fat, sucralose, corn syrup, aspartame, and all these aspartic sulfate, and they keep changing the name to keep hiding the ingredients, the poisons in there that make you addicted to food and have to eat more food that goes straight to the belly weight which is causes the most danger for men and straight to the women's 
buttocks and all that stuff and all these things is from that and every diet food this says diet food has all that stuff in it all the protein shakes all the protein bars have the synthetic sugars most 99 percent of them some may be very very rare on the protein but i would say get get rid of all the protein bars get rid of all the protein shakes and everybody says you got to do protein shake and all that crap. throw that crap out the door we're going to a straight non-processed diet and again skip all that shit because those protein shakes if you get rid of them and you go with this diet i'm going to tell you about you will you'll get lean ripped faster and look better than you ever did even on protein shakes because that's a giant misconception so throw that crap out the door so back to the energy okay there's several ways to pull this off phenamine you call your doctor say i want a prescription for phenamine for 90 days that's going to curb your appetite and give you energy this is for the most obese person you could do that uh or you could go um, on the black market or whatever or internet and call look up the there's no drug similar to it it's called clomid and some other non-prescription well they're they're illegal but you can get them if you want them try them out i don't think they're as good but phenamine works really well and then there's another one that you can't get a prescription with from the same diet from the same doctor or anti-aging doctor which is called hcg diet which is going to give you curb your appetite mainly and a little bit of energy and burn a little bit of fat but the best one would be the phenamine i'd say that's definitely my favorite um for men if you're older and you want to get anti-aging anti-testosterone stuff and stuff you can go find that anti-aging doctors all over internet prescription all that kind of stuff that'll get your testosterone up and burn your fat off better because the more muscle you have the more calories you burn just in your resting resting potential resting phase so get the phenamine start that hgh i mean that's expensive you could do it expensive for a lot of people i mean you could do it it'll keep you lean it's hollywood style but you don't have to have all that money i would say worst case scenario you get the phenamine if you don't have all that stuff and you don't want to go to the doctor and call them you're going to go over the counter fat burners and over-the-counter appetite suppressants so what are those well there's a ton of them but it doesn't really matter which ones you use because um, you're gonna your body's gonna get used to all these things in like about a month's time so anything you actually use you're gonna get used to it and accustomed to it and it's gonna fail so on the fat burners, you probably want to use, uh, I mean, my favorite ones are like um, Xantrex. They're actually really good. Um, Hydroxycut's good. You got green tea. You got Carbosia, the uh, green coffee be, green coffee beans, Carbosia, Carbosia. I'm not even sure the way you say the name, Ambrosia. Then you got raspberry ketones and these things. Uh, <clears throat> they're all... they're all over the counter now the trick is when you get these over the counters you're gonna have uh, you're gonna take these pills in the morning that's gonna give you energy to work out so the first part of your equation on the energy is you got to get the energy so if you're grossly overweight get the phenamine that will give you energy curb your appetite and you're good to go so now that allows you to do the rest of the puzzle which is the diet properly eat the right things and then the exercise okay so on the diet the diet is going to be non-processed foods straight organic healthy stuff white meats which is chicken turkey shrimp or fish that's it that's all you're going to eat that's all you're ever going to eat for meat other than the proteins you get out then vegetables and carbohydrates carbohydrate is going to be the sweet potato it is like a 90 calories 100 calories per sweet potato this has got to be the one of the biggest secrets in the diet industry you could have four or five of these things they're only 100 calories per sweet potato and 
uh, if you're doing any type of workout or even if you have a little bit of muscle, you burn the things off at the end of the day. So you don't have to go with the Atkins diet and Atkins, Atkins diet and have a protein all day long and no carbs because that well defeats the purpose of building your body up and keeping you in the to uh, the proper condition is being healthy. So this is your diet: broccoli, cauliflower, and then if you want to throw in any other vegetables with your white meat, which is going to be like um, Tyson skinned, boneless, premium turkey bre chicken breasts, or um, or the uh, chicken chicken uh, bologna chicken or whatever the uh, cold cuts or whatever. But if you want to do better than than chicken, is they don't have it on this page. Is uh, turkey? You want to have turkey, turkey breasts this turkey this is 99 percent fat free so here's your diet in the beginning on this diet if you're on phenamine or whatever your appetites or you get on these appetite suppressants um green tea xantrex stacker three or whatever if you don't want one that makes you super jittery look for ones without picoline chrominate but the ones i named in general are good it doesn't matter. You're going to try one. You're going to stick on it for a week or two, and then you're going to switch, or you're going to alternate. You maybe have take two or three, one kind for three or four days, and you're going to switch up to another kind. Eventually, you'll just go through all of them because you got to keep keep your body used to not uh, getting acquainted with it and not being used to having it in your system. So that's where you're going to have you're going to end up going through all of the fat burners. You're going to always take a fat burner in the morning. You know two pills and then some in the evening but for the beginning phase um you're going to start out with the phenamine so that's your diet and the diet when you do eat uh like normally you you would want to always work for your food that means you're going to do some type of workout and if you're losing weight you want to lose weight you're going to do the workout in the morning and then on the first levels of your phenamine you're not going to be be hungry for like she's two three four five o'clock at night and then you're gonna eat a little bit and that would be your turkey cauliflower bro broccoli and carrots not and some maybe one or two sweet potatoes if you can get away with no carbs in the beginning because the phenomenes are really gonna kick in you skip the carbs but once that starts wearing off toward the second and third week you're gonna be hungry and then you're gonna want to eat the the sweet potatoes and you could have like four or five a day my my buddy's a bodybuilder that told me this never told me about the sweet potatoes and that is like the biggest secret in the world because you're starving and if you're doing Atkins diet, Atkins diet and you don't have a carb source or you have bad carbs which add fat and make you overweight uh, with a lot of calories you're going to get fat and never get lean sweet potatoes are the biggest secret I could got to tell you that and, and phenamine phenamine is huge too um, so you have the diet that's your diet when you're doing the phenamine fet diet you're not even going to be hungry until like maybe three or four in the afternoon because you're going to fast all the time but when it starts wearing off you start getting hungry earlier but you work out in the morning on a normal say after the phenamine wears off you're going to work out in your morning and then you're going to go to your food which is the turkey ideally turkey because it's cheaper has higher protein and less fat than the chicken so the turkey is the key the only trick is uh, find organic turkey or organic chicken. Chicken Tyson chicken is the only one that doesn't put arsenic in it, which will add up to you, add up in your body. It'll give you a little black marks in your fingernail, and you eat a lot of chicken, a lot of meat like that. Uh, it's gonna catch up to you, so you want to stay away from that. So you can alternate uh, just between that, or if you want to go with the uh, ground turkey at 99% fat, you're good. So there's your diet. Now, you can throw in some fats in there, but you can't have carbs and fat. You can either do a, a high fat with no carbs, or you can do carbs. I mean, you can have some fat with low carbs, but if you have carbs and fat, high fat, saturated fat, then you're going to get fat. But if you mix it up, if you do a little less carbs one day, and then you have the good fat, which is saturated fat, which is your fish oil, peanut butter, almonds, walnuts, avocados, that kind of stuff. Those 
like this is your good fat. Now, when I say proportions, you're only going to want to have like, um, well, you're going to have the, the whole thing of the turkey breast. You could have uh, the broccoli, the cauliflower, and the sweet potatoes, four or five of those in a normal day. And then um, a pinch of like your your almonds or whatever it is, a pinch of it, or like one tablespoon of peanut butter. But you can't overdo it. I mean, if you cut the carbs way down, you can go for like, you know, three, four, five things of peanut butter, but you got to be real careful. So I'd say one I don't really do much fat. I only do like a handful of the almonds once a day, but that's it. But once you get to burning, all those fats going to drop completely. And you're going to get to the last bit of fat and not be able to lose it. You'll be ripped, but you won't be able to lose the last portion of fat. The way to get rid of the last portion of fat is when you have no fat and all this stuff and you're doing the diet I told you with no fat in it, you're going to start adding a little bit of fat in it, which would be like any of these in the picture. Small portions. That will allow you to burn the small adipose fat that's buried into your system that cannot normally get released because once you have a little bit of fat your body gets used to burning it and boom it'll throw off and burn the last bit of fat and you will be ripped under like nine percent eight percent maybe six percent body fat which is normal i mean that's not normal for your normal person i mean that's hollywood looking that's like these pictures right here that's that's ripped hot normal good fat I mean low low percentage of fat you're like eight percent maybe okay so now let's go to the exercise portion of it because we've got the diet covered if you have any questions just call me and email me or whatever I'm just telling you this because I hear all this stuff misconceptions it doesn't really work but this does work and I've dieted and I'm le lean and I'm ripped and I have guys and friends of mine that do pro stuff and I know their diet and I know exactly what they're doing um, the phenamine is the key thing, or if you don't want to go there, you go with the fat burners. It's the energy equation, or there's one you could buy. It's called HCG, which like I did mention, it's, you'd give yourself a small shot and that curbs your appetite. And it's really good. A lot of girls do that, but eventually that stuff's going to wear out. So then you'd go over the counter. Okay. So now, now the exercise phase of the equation in the morning you're so if you're losing weight in the morning you're going to do like well you got the energy now you're going to do like 15 20 or if you can go 30 minutes of exercise what kind of exercise explosive cardio so that means it should be in like 30 30 seconds to two minute increments i would say two minutes at the max you don't don't want to go do long-term cardio because that is gonna uh straight straight your muscles to where they're they're more extended and burn more testosterone and not burn fat i mean a cardio runner does burn fat and stuff but if you have explosive cardio it burns more fat faster and well if you're a man it doesn't kill your testosterone level so and it builds up more muscle the cardio runners do not build up muscle as much as the explosive sprinter does so these are explosive so you want to do just make it simple you say you want to exercise if if you're doing this like you can go if you can do this off and on for 30 minutes you're great in the morning that's all you're going to do in the morning the better the more fat you lose the better you get when you get to the maintained phase you're going to just go to uh, the evening portion of the workout which is your weights and skip the whole cardio but then if you start putting on a little pounds, you go back to the morning cardio a little bit or just throw in a cardio once a week. I don't even barely do cardio anymore. I just I used to do it all the time, but I do it when I train and do all these other things. But I mean, like once you drop the weight, you won't even need to do cardio. You'll just need to do your, your standard workout at night lifting and that's like 15, 20 minutes a day. That's it. Boom. You're good. You look good and you're ripped. It could be like um, hollywood lean movie just normal where everybody else in the world is constantly they're running around fat and they have no energy and they can't get anything done so that's your morning workout explosive exercise a good rule of thumb is if you want to try and run yourself out of breath maybe eight times 
that's just on standard morning and then the last really important thing is in the morning and the night you're going to do abs sit-ups leg lifts whatever abs you can do you can make this simple and straight to the point just do abs like um, leg lifts or sit-ups whatever you want to do like well ideally like 60 in the morning and 60 at night but if you don't have the ability to do that you start out with 25 in the morning and 25 at night or 10 in the morning 10 at night. you work up you work up to where you could do like you know 60 in the morning or 60 at night or 50 in the morning 50 at night at least 100 a day that's your goal and then you want to go maybe 150 day but you're going to get ripped and you're going to get lean anyways and you're just going to be like all right this is fantastic maybe i'll do a little more but you won't need it once you start realizing this stuff really works and you're getting all lean okay so the evening workout so that that you do your morning workout then you eat you never eat unless you done a workout in the morning so you never go just wake up and go straight straight to eating crap food you're always going to work out at least 15 minutes 10 minutes or whatever okay so then you do your your diet which we went over and then the, so the evening workout is the weights you want to go heavy heavy weights builds more muscle and burns more calories now girls don't think you can get too big but i mean if you're dieting you're not going to get too big you're just going to get more lean and people say don't do heavy weights when you're you're dieting but you do you do heavy weights because it for men it builds up higher testosterone and builds more muscle and women it builds more muscle and burns more fat so you go heavy weights and you're going to do like one day you do chest and triceps back and biceps the next day shoulders the third day the fourth day you're going to do legs and then you're going to go straight back to chest tricep back bicep shoulders then legs again and that's like well so you're on straight eight days and then depends how you feel you keep going but if it's your ninth day you want to go on ninth day and you want to do a rest that day you would just do you could do more cardio or you could just take a toilet break or you could go right back to working out so if you ever get too tired or you get too busy you'd skip the whole workout say you miss the shoulder day you'd pick up the next day on the shoulders and go to that so that's your evening workout um you do that with the energy pill and the diet you're gonna you're gonna burn fat you're gonna get ripped and you're gonna be lean and once you've done this you won't even have to do the morning workout and you can really get away with like 15 20 minutes of weightlifting at night maintain that and people can be like how many hours do you spend in the gym i mean they would be constantly asking you how many hours you I really like people like to say well how many hours you spend eating and not working out but that's not even hours I mean for people that have a lot of business a lot of a lot of the career going you can only do like 15 20 minutes a day I mean that's it you want to get the most out of it and be ripped and lean and not have to worry about being hungry 24 7 I mean if you have the the sweet potatoes and this diet you can in the beginning you want to fast because you have the energy to do it but normally you would eat like whenever you're hungry so i mean i eat whenever i'm hungry like sweet potato or whatever and i'm never hungry and it doesn't matter because you don't have to eat you can eat every two hours i mean it's not going to change anything it does help a little bit i mean the fasting overall if you do it too much uh you, that's going to burn burn muscle so you got to have the carbs to build the muscle and keep the muscle now if you want to put on muscle and size you would change and do your weight lifting in the morning the heavy weights in the morning and then you add in a little bit of the higher fat higher amount of fats like your peanut butter fish oil steak which builds up the tes testosterone and then you eat all that in the daytime and then you do a little bit of the cardio workout that you normally do in the morning at night and then boom you get lean and put on a ton of muscle so that pretty much covers it that is how you get ripped now on the diet you can change it up and add different vegetables mushrooms and these things like that and greens greens are awesome and if you really are have a lot of time and you want to dedicate yourself to totally making your diet but eventually uh you're gonna run out of time and you won't be able to do it 
the way you cook the turkey and the vegetables and everything, you're just going to get a basic skillet and you're going to put them in there with water, set it at like 200 and let it cook for like 15, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, not very long, or 250 and cook it in like, I don't know, seven minutes. Your food's good. You leave that in the skillet. That skillet, you start cooking that in the morning and that skillet is available. You have the food there all day long. You can have it whenever you want. By the time, you know, in the, the day, you have... A limited amount of food you're never hungry and you have access to it so the other way to do it if you're really ambitious which takes a lot more time is you're going to do like a food juicer if you want to do that whenever you have a hunger at night you'd want to snack on like carrots or the rice patties that's why the rice patties were in there but but other than that, you won't ever be that hungry. So if you don't, if you don't even want to have the rice patties and you want to skip that, that crunchy portion where you're hungry, you'll go with a juice machine, which you can do any greens. You're going to stick with the greens. Um, the vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, the greens are what you're going to have. You don't want to eat like fruits because fruits are high sugar. I mean, maybe maybe a banana once in a while but if you get too much into the fruits uh it could get get back into the fat zone because it's a lot of sugar it's a good sugar but you want to really limit it i mean so you're going to stick with the greens broccoli cauliflower mushrooms if you really want a, a super good vegetable to alternate with would be like the squash and the zucchini the zucchini the green zucchini is the lowest calories you can get the squash is next it's close to a sweet potato sweet potato is like 100 calories the squash is like about 90 a zucchini i think you know, like about 30 or 40 calories so if you eat a lot of squash the sweet potato squash is actually lower calories than sweet potato so if you had squash versus sweet potato and then your turkey and then your diet plus your exercise there is no way you're not going to lose tons of weight. And I mean, this this program in like nine days, you could drop easily a couple hundred pounds, 300 pounds if you're fat. I mean, easy. A normal person that's overweight by 30, 40 pounds in one month, you're going to see so much difference just by changing your diet and getting off all the non-processed food. The only thing you can drink on this diet would be tea, um, water, maybe coffee i wouldn't even do too much coffee but uh coffee's got a lot of calories but the tea uh you want you have caffeinated tea but you don't want to do too much caffeine because it's going to lower your water volume which helps you lose fat you're going to drink a lot of water because that water lets you lose a lot of water weight if you don't drink a lot of water you're going to gain water weight so drinking a lot of water like a gallon a day um have some tea uh, toward the, later on in the evening, you go to decaffeinated tea because you don't want to keep dehydrating yourself if you like tea or just throw it out completely. And that's it. That's your diet. Like I was saying, uh, if you're ambitious, you got the, the juicer or um, the ninja processor, which you could put in like uh, celery, which helps you burn. Well, celery helps you suppress your appetite as well. And it doesn't take it uh, the calories you get from it or drink it actually doesn't add up to anything because well it's celery so spinach um bok choy these greens um celery and other greens uh you'd put, put in there maybe you'd mix it with uh tomato but i wouldn't go into any fruits because uh that's too much sugar this diet won't work with fruit but um that's it and then if you did that drink and your protein like the turkey or the chicken i mean you can do shrimp or whatever if you're going to eat out or whatever you got to go fast food you just stick with the grilled maybe honey mustard and that's it or like a, a lettuce um, a, a garden salad with no dressing maybe honey mustard and grilled chicken that's it when you go eat out you can have fish or if you're building muscle you'd put in eat a lot more steak because that's going to raise your testosterone and put on muscle and it has a good fat but um steak in general will make you fat and all the um all the additives in the steak is gonna 
add up to bloating your stomach and making you not look so good. But if you're heavy into bodybuilding and stuff, steak's good to mix in. But if you're just wanting to lean, lean up, you're going to stick with the white meats. And every day you're going to have the same thing. But you might mix up, uh, you might have the ground turkey and cook it in the morning. Or you go with the white, uh, if you want to mix it up a little bit, you'd have the white, the white egg whites. Gee, many Christmas egg whites. So that you could have egg whites and mushrooms or mix it up or vegetables. And then, then go the sweet potato. Or you can do the turkey or the chicken or shrimp. Or fish so but you want to make it simple you just want to do the turkey broccoli cauliflower sweet potatoes that's it and then when you're hungry carrots or rice patty they have organic rice patties which even lower calories rice patties in general if you eat too many or about a hundred and ten calories 100 calories so you don't want to go too much on it but I mean that'll get you by and keep you lean and fulfill your hunger so with the fat burner and all that stuff in the exercise exercise alone so at night you would do the you do the a.m. workout the p.m. workout if you're really obese and you really want to you do the a.m. workout your cardio the weights at you know five six o'clock at night that's your chest triceps back biceps shoulders each day and then the fourth day is legs mix it up keep going and then it, I mean if you're super fat and you want to get lean like just beyond lean fast then you would do a p.m. workout a late night workout which would be like another 10 minutes of like um, explosive cardio but you just make sure you do like your 50 abs in the morning or 50 or 60 abs in the evening and if you got to split it split it between three increments that's like maybe you know three increments it's not that's not very much you could do you know if you want to break it into three parts so if you're you so that would be like you do 20 take a rest do 20 more and then then your p.m. workout you do that and then if you want to do a late night workout you do it then too abs you can do every day and then you'll get ripped this diet does work and it works fantastic and the phenamine is awesome that will get you to drop so much fat fast if you can't do phenamine you would go with over-the-counter stuff with the diet you got to eliminate all the processed foods eliminate protein shakes eliminate protein power bars all your drinks all that crap you just stick to this do your abs in the morning, abs in the p.m. Do the explosive workouts till you're basically out of breath. Um, you do that. You could do that eight times the morning, eight times a night, plus your abs. Then the weights, and then I guarantee you're gonna lose weight. This works. Works great. All right. So there you go. That's how you lose weight. Now, now that you're losing weight, you got money. You're not hungry. You want to get money. To fit your diet, give me a call at 312-473-4163. That is it. Thanks.